there thank you so much for tuning in and i am going to take you all to northeast with me i took this trip in november but i was late to post this but better late than never So Guwahati to Shillong is a 5 to 6 hour drive but depending on the traffic it can take more it took us 7 seven and a half hours to reach Shillong and in between we had this pit stop this is not in Shillong this is on the way to Shillong it's this beautiful lake and i absolutely was left mesmerized as far as i could see i could only see water and the sky and it was just so calm and such a soothing feeling very honestly to be surrounded by nature and just wanted to be here for a while longer and just be embraced by the trees i know it sounds a little poetic but that's how i exactly felt and finally we arrived by evening at shillong and we headed straight to the police bazaar thrift market this is a thrift shop and trust me it's crazy good a friend of mine whom i met on the internet well an internet friend she suggested me to go and visit this local market Uh, she's from northeast so she knew and i ended up buying quite a bit of stuff from here and well i thrifted a lot of stuff and i think i'm going to make another video to show off what all stuff i thrifted and of course we had to try pani puri i think this is a family ritual and then we just called it a day and headed up to the hotel I was just too tired very honestly after the 7 8 hour car ride. The one thing we've done this entire trip is long roadway trips because everything is just far off from each other like the locations. So we just had to travel a lot. and it was extremely cold and chilly in shillong by the way like i couldn't even walk bare feet in my hotel room god knows how i managed to take a bath thank god for the hot water that just saved my life or else i wouldn't wouldn't be able to have taken a bath and i just decided to you know follow my skincare routine because the last time i was traveling i did not really take care of my skin very honestly and because of the climate and new weather it broke out and i did not want that to happen this time well i slept with four layers of blanket Our first stop was at this really beautiful spot called the Elephant Falls. So basically it has three waterfalls all almost together like you just need to do a small trek downwards and there's a lot of water flowing through like little streams here and there and it's quite pleasant. There's just something about water that absolutely makes my heart so happy.
the one thing i've noticed about shillong is that people are really helpful and they are always up to help you and i love how warm i feel around them and i don't even know these people but it's cute i could literally find these cherry blossom petals everywhere So this was our second stop. It was actually supposed to be this mountain valley view, but my sister and I decided to trek down to this beautiful waterfall. My mom and my masi stayed upstairs, and for all good reasons because this was extremely tiring. The one thing I very easily found in Shillong is peace, a lot of mental peace and calm, and I could find it easily. I found it in food, I found it in nature, and wherever I went, and I realized that being in nature helps so much. The peace was not actually outside; it was always within me. I just had to find it. Of course we had to do some souvenir shopping and I bought a ton of spices because spices are extremely popular over here so I got cinnamon black pepper and of course I had to take a pit stop for my favorite star fruit like I remember I used to have this after school like there used to be a vendor outside my school we were forbidden to eat it but I would still go and eat a star fruit every day from the same vendor speaking of school we stopped at this public school here in cherapunji yes we are currently in cherapunji and this school is actually open to public so people can come and visit the school and it was really nice because i could see all the kids and it was just a lot of fun they were all having a lot of fun playing around having fun and this was the rainfall report of the year 22 i'm just going to pause it over for you the amount of rainfall that has fallen in june as compared to the rest of the months is insane A few kilometers down the road I found myself in between these caves exploring what lies inside them so these caves are of course nature made like no man was involved in any of the making of these caves except for adding in a few lights so that we don't bump our heads in The crystallized stones were really beautiful and thank god I'm not claustrophobic as such so I could easily make my way out of these caves and I actually enjoyed my time inside over here. And then we did something super touristy. Uh we dressed up as Khasi people. So Khasi is an ethnic group of Meghalaya and this is their traditional outfit. And well my sister was hesitant but I dragged her into this because well we are making memories very honestly. For sure we felt like a bit of a cliche but then we are here to have fun and not take ourselves seriously, right? Back at the hotel I decided I need to do some workout I need to move my body because I was feeling really chilly and actually I shouldn't have done it very honestly because I didn't realize that because I was at a higher altitude even my regular normal chill workout was tiring me a lot and I was having a hard time 
catching my breath and getting it back to normal somehow i ended up finishing it and after that i realized that i shouldn't have worked out at such a high altitude because my body is not used to it i felt good for a while but after that i felt so cold like literally slept with four sweaters two blankets and a headgear on and then my sister decided to play something on the u Okay so fun fact never have i ever liked pineapples because they make my tongue go weird and i've always avoided them but trust me i've fallen in love with pineapples since this trip i've had so many pineapples like i'm not even kidding i love them now <laughs> So we finally arrived at Molinong. It's a small village and vehicles are actually not allowed inside. You have to explore the village on foot. So here we go. I'm on my way to the top of this tree house from where I can see the view of Bangladesh. The view from the top is spectacular to say the least. It was just so calming and so soothing right here on top amidst this trees and I mean this tree house was a beautiful experience.
so this was my last day in meghalaya and i have found so much beauty so much calm and so much peace on this land and it's just been a really magical ride nothing short of that and all i can think is well i can't wait to come back to you again meghalaya you've been surreal So this is end of part 1 of my northeast travel vlogs and I'll be back soon with part 2 until then stay tuned